All right, guys, here we're talking about Season 3, Episode 5 of the Santa Clarita Diet. This episode was good. This episode was fine. Yeah. This episode was, there's no problems, really, with this episode. We get a lot of resolutions, though, to a lot of things. We did. kind of like, oh, things have changed quite a bit. From, almost from the almost of the crazy resolutions of some yeah. problems. Uh, so where do you want to start? Uh, we can go chronologically. Sure. If you want to knock out any, any particular characters that are fresh in your mind. Yeah, go right from the beginning. I liked the conversation in the beginning. Abby and Sheila have like a heart-to-heart, -heart, and it's like... Yeah, a real mom and daughter moment. It's like borderline goofy, too goofy stuff, but it's also sort of was, was cool. Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, you know, how old do you think Drew Barrymore is in real life? 110. Well, like, uh, what do you think? 50? Probably. She, yeah, she has to be in her 50s. 50s, so like she's like a natural age for the daughter of this person, yeah. for the mother of this person. I don't know how old that actress is either, but both of them. 20, maybe. Playing good, good things. Yeah, they have, they have decent chemistry. Really, yeah. the whole family, uh, including Eric, mm -hmm. have uh, a pretty good com chemistry. Eric's part of the family. Yeah. Like, like Eric's mom hard, yeah. is hit or miss at times for me. Really? Where, like, sometimes I think she's very funny, other times she's trying too hard, but I know that's the character. That's not, yes. that's not the actress. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. So, like, I'm not super into that, like, cringy kind of shit. Okay. Uh, but I love the, like, you know, oh, quick-witted, oh, these quips. Oh, they're firing back and forth. Oh, Joel, good observation. Yeah. Like, things like that. A lot of the stuff Joel just throws in under his breath or always, like, slaying oh, he's great. his little things. So yeah. mad they canceled this show. I can't, like, every episode now is, is going to, 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 like, touch on that. But um, I don't know if the show ends poorly or just no one watched it or, like, how they make the decision. I don't know. I, I would like it if they would just stop making the decision before I finish watching things. Well, we're watching them pretty late, I guess, is the whole pr a problem. A few weeks behind, yeah. but overall, you could, the you world could have waited until your natural conclusion would have happened for another season and been, like, not renewed. I was going to say, like, I feel like they uh, look at it like the show dropped, start counting, wait, it's been, a, it's been a day, what are we doing? How much fall off is there between day one and day two? Like, they're very tight with it. Maybe. But, but you're right, things take time to make. So they should wait until they would have been making it or they would have been done making yeah. it or something, right? Just to be like, by the way. Because otherwise you end up in these situations like Insatiable or, or some other shows had mm -hmm. where they're like, it's canceled. It's renewed. It's canceled. I don't know. It's coming back. We're not sure. Anyway, hold on. And then it's, yeah. don't, do, don't jerk me around. But this episode, uh, we got a lot of interesting things. I, I like the bring back Pick of the through. crazy guy. <laughs> Ro Rob, Ron, whatever. I forgot what his name is. Is it Ron? I knew until I said that, <laughs> and I ruined it all. Well, here's your, you're, the, you're the problem. But Ron. yeah, that guy. Ron wants to be a zombie. The thing with the baby teeth was amazing. Yes. The, the thing where he's like, let me cut to the chase. The year is 1975, and Joel's like, what are you doing? He keeps, like, he keeps throwing things yeah. in. He starts naming skateboarders. He's like, there's no way we need the names. Like, he's just, <laughs> just throwing those things out. It's a stupid story. But he wants to be bitten. He yes. wants to become immortal. Which I can understand. He doesn't want to be scared anymore. Because he's yeah. got very little going on in his life. Yeah, he wants to be and bold, like you, Sheila. He wants to be out there, assertive, powerful. But like, as Joel has pointed out, the fear of what you turn into, not yes. even monster-wise, just that it, the fact that it can affect your personality at all, yeah. is definitely a barrier to entry for me, where I'd be like, yeah. I don't know. Because uh, what if the whole reason I want to be immortal is to do the things that I want to do? And if I change my personality drastically, uh -huh. I won't want to do those things anymore. Or it will get me killed because I'm not actually immortal. I'm just, <laughs> I, just, I'm well, just I just will naturally live forever yeah. if I keep consuming humans. You don't have full God more. You just have no. certain like infinite ammo, infinite health, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's not quite un unkillable. So like, sense. to drastically change my personality is yeah. reckless. Even like a bad motorcycle accident. Oh, dead. Well, and like you wouldn't uh, live forever. Someone else... Who's who, who's yeah. kind of like you, right? You would you you change, yeah, my, and that like, person lives my, my lives clone forever. that that got yeah. the like nature versus nurture <laughs> yeah. raising. You basically re-roll the character into other, right? Because yeah. Sheila's now flipped her personality around. We don't have too many examples because I think the joke was Ramona d just doesn't have a personality, so she's yeah. still the same or whatever. But I don't know. There could be other things going on there. Well, we had what was it? The guy who wanted to be a singer or something. Yeah. And, who so was like, like very? He was he was a bad dude like and became your, a singer. Like your inner desires just come out. Oh, okay, okay. That's what Sheila says. She's like the yeah. primal, like whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm not gonna be. So, that, so, so that's what what Rob Ron is is tapping into. He's like, I've been scared my whole life. I don't want to be scared anymore. I just want to go out and do that. And by I the guess. end, we see he's like, woo! 
for everybody. All of that though strikes me as something he would have done anyway, just being He's an crazy. awkward idiot. Exactly. So like I well, can't say it's it, kind of it, it, it's kind of Spider-Man uh, three or whatever. Uh-huh. So his his version of being outgoing and whatever is to be awful and not read the room right and do the whole dumb things. We'll see. Well, we'll have to see more. But he was just like, yeah. lattes for everybody. Do not go in there. Woo! Like he's doing the whole dumb yeah. where everyone's like, bro, like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing, bro? You're just holding his Mr. Ball legs. He's like, ah. And he screams, I'm undead. <laughs> After they're like, yeah. well, Ron's sort of whatever. Maybe he'll be, maybe, maybe he'll keep it low key. That doesn't really necessarily mean anything in public to no. scream, I'm undead. I don't think that's a big tell. I don't think it'll necessarily cause problems. Who knows what those Serbian people I have want, their hands in. I want to pan over. To, the, to like you know newspaper cup of coffee and it's the one serving like death cult mafia guy is like boss we have a problem here <laughs> so the- I picture more like next episode them on the uh, on the screen like watching the surveillance footage from that establishment yeah. or uh, being like I don't know we got a report of gallons of vomit and a, and a small loud man screaming that he was undead and they're like probably <laughs> nothing if Vlado were here he could have taken care of this I'd kind of like it if he died in the next episode sure just like oh we gotta kill somebody. Oh god, these Serbians are fucking serious. <clears throat> well, and we have to make a point that like it isn't just like you flip the undead switch and, and you know and everything is great. We yeah. we know that because we followed the family the whole time. But other people showing up are like, hey, yeah, seems like a good deal, man. And then like, wait a minute, maybe we'll also see a crazy change in his personality, and then Joel will have some more ammunition becomes, on his side. Like, look, see, we can't do this. Exactly, that's what I mean. He like, became we'll a serial a killer, like something. I think he might like who. <laughs> Who he decides to kill and like what he decides to do mm. might be like really bad. Maybe. In the middle though, Gary the head. Yes. Sorry, Gary the head. I love the line. He he stuck his finger in my mouth and punched down on my head like a stapler. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh no, you bit him!" And he's like, "I'm fine, by the way." The whole stupid that like interaction I thought. All was that amazing. though would have been so much better with Nathan. I know. I know. I knew you would say that. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. But the lines as written were wonderful. No, that that's almost. That's almost worse. Strike against is that them. the lines are, <laughs> are perfect, and they're just delivered by someone I don't know. Mm. I'm just pretending that it's Nathan Fillion under all that makeup. Well, that's a thing to do. Yeah, you gotta you gotta create your own happiness in this in this world. I hear that. <laughs> I um, love what we get with uh, Tommy. I, yes, Tommy. Tommy's <laughs> whole business. I'm like I'm like ah, he's wonderful. He's actually like like a gem. When he's yeah. like, and your name's Joel. And then, he, and then there's, there's this nice little beat. It's pronounced Joel. And he goes, stop lying yeah, to me. Stop, his stupid, stop lying to me. He yells and he's like, oh, this big crazy dude. Like, it's so, it's so Every, well done. All their interactions in this one yeah. was great. Like when the FBI person's there. When yeah. The, when he's talking about donuts and bullshit. When he's accidentally texting him. <laughs> all that stuff was gold. The, like, like text message humor. Like texts are hard to do in shows anyway or whatever. Yeah. They like made it feel fine, and then him just frantically sending little messages yes. like, "Oops, sorry, wrong person, disregard." Truth sounds good. Smiley face. Like the timing yeah. of how they popped up. Like that's like that's some of the best that I've ever seen. And then it, cut, it cuts right? him like, ah. <laughs> and it's like, wait, Hawaii? He says this is a wrong. And then it cuts back to fuck, and just him doing the whole like back in his den with like a thing of plastic yeah. and the lighting, and just him and his like, ah. Oh. When his daughter yeah. shows up, you yes. know, other thing. That's what, like, what was I doing last weekend? Yeah. Huh. Like, what? No, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Those little bits. And their stupid thing of like, um, oh, that's nice talking to you. Wouldn't want to traumatize anybody for life or jeopardize my custody. See ya. Yeah. And like leaves or whatever. And you're like, oh God. Or when he ultimately steals his crossbow and he's like, he's like, no. My cro- nope. No. That was $600. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Tommy, no. Okay. And I got this sweet crossbow. And he just like throws it in the closet. Yeah. It's it's still cocked. It, ah. Like I'm like you can't just leave it like that. The thing. Ah. Uh, and she's like, which you can only play with outside. And he was like, yes. <sighs> like awesome. Ah. Oh, cool. Like put and like puts it away. So they have the helmet now. The crossbow. It feels like a video game where they're getting items. That helmet uh, was kind of awesome. And and like him putting the helmet down and then everything going to hell and then the helmet being used or whatever yeah. is one of those beautiful little things that the show weight can do. was inconsistent throughout okay. its use, um, but I was okay with it. Okay. I'm like, yeah, it's a comedy. What are you gonna do? It seemed like it was too light when he threw it. Or what do you mean? Uh, like when he put it down, it's like, ugh. ugh. And then like she was like, and like she's, she's a zombie. She's a zombie. She has super strength. <sighs> it's canon. I don't like that. <laughs> Yes. And then, yeah, then it gets tossed. It could have made a bigger deal of that, where, like, when she hands it to him, he's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she's yeah. like, it's all right, no, my own strength, or whatever, right? It could have Something. done a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But those things are awesome. Those old school halls, like yeah. since like early days of Scooby Doo, I was like, those are cool. <laughs> I want one of those. I love that she hates it though. Well, you should. And hate he's it. like, honey, you forgot your helmet. She's like, oh, did I really? Thank you. Bye. And I just like fuck you. Like very, no. very good. Like you know, eh, blase about the thing that would keep you alive. I know, but she hates. I it. I wonder if even would like. I wonder how thick the glass is in the front yeah. piece of that, because like like the metal, maybe. Tommy's thing was accuracy though. He shoots a moth. Yeah. So the whole time I was like, this isn't good. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. No, he's very accurate. And, like, crossbows and guns are very different because it's, it's a yes. pointed projectile. Well, like, the bullet has so much more force and all that stuff. Yeah, but if you shoot a bullet at bulletproof glass, it catches it, nothing happens. If you shoot a crossbow at bulletproof glass, it cuts right through. It does? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's all about the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I wonder, like, that glass is made for pressure, but I don't know if it's made for impact. We may never find out. <laughs> At this yeah. rate. Because he's going, I could be anything. I could be this or that or a doula or work at a bird store. Yep, you just follow your dreams. It's probably going to be the bird store. Yeah. His thing. And then later they're like, oh, don't worry about him. He went to go, he went to go follow his dreams of working at a bird store. Or, like, or do you think he'll hear about someone vomiting up uh, you know, a new zombie I, he, in his, the bathroom? His brother may chew him out and be like, I told you, this mission... And it's like, whatever. And then he's like, oh, but I can't kill Joel and Sheila, Joel and Sheila. Yeah. What am I going to do? And then it's like, Bruh. like, meanwhile, there's a report of a thing. And he's like, all right. <laughs> eat a donut. <laughs> oh, can't eat sugar. Made with stevia. Sweetened with stevia. <laughs> I'm gluten free. They're gluten free. They're gluten free. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that whole scene. Uh, Joel, Joel was willing to take the shot for her. Yeah. And he, and, and he lays it out. He's like... You may like you may kill me, but you'll never survive the reload or whatever. Yeah, because she will just go nuts and it's like attack It's very true. Her. And it's this one, like, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you're anticipating, like, if you're not trying to not be shot with a yeah. crossbow, you could probably take that shot to an area that might not kill you. Well, and you can like bum rush him and keep exactly because like the, like the closer you get, the bigger you get, and like the more you block of her. Yeah, so he would just be like, Hurr! and like, well, do and thing. Yeah. your wife already wants to turn you, so <laughs> if you're about be... to die, it's almost a win-win for her. Did you? So I didn't feel it coming, but I think like from like a script perspective, did you think like we, you know, this might be where we get to that? Nope. Okay. I didn't. I, I didn't feel it either. I was just like, for some reason, it doesn't yeah. feel like it. But yeah. Nah. Uh, maybe they were trying for the fake out there, but I, it didn't land. It didn't right? feel like it was gonna happen. Plus, like the music changes, it gets all weird. But, I, but I just absorbed like he's 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 so into this. He's like, no, honey, let's get behind me. And she's no, like, at the, I'm, at I'm the worst case yeah. for Joel, it would have been a shot in the shoulder, and he'd been like, oh, sh shot in the shoulder. First I was stabbed. <sighs> yeah. Now this. This is worse. Like something like that. Or like, all right, it's not a, it, it doesn't throb like the pen, but it's still bad. It's a horrible thing. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, FBI, C4, kids, stuff yeah, so happening. Eric's mom like cleaned up the... Oh, like lickety split. Like, and like uh, she left like the metal racking, so it wasn't like she remodeled it completely. Yeah. But like, I was like, okay, what do we got here? I thought it was an interesting twist that she, uh, she yeah. like, you know, predicted it, called the whole thing, got it. Because she's been strangely intuitive about a lot of things. Yeah. Well, and she a lot of that's just plot. But, but I like to think she's pretty good. She played it. What's the right word for it? Aware? Woke? Whatever? Yeah. Where, like, she then loops back around and says, no, it, we're, like, we're not laughing. This is horrible. What you did is very serious. Yeah. You have to go confess. Never do this again, whatever. And then even, like, the... Uh, the like redo you know, you know uh, conversation yeah, like she's never like, endanger yeah, my son again never Fuck do you. anything that'll take him away from me and all that stuff and Abby's like this is a lot <laughs> whatever yeah but the fucking line where she's like I've seen everything with Dan and and uh, you know Anne and everybody Dan and Anne that's horrible and Lisa she's like like I've seen everything your parents aren't used to this crazy shit Abby's reaction go back and watch that little bit yeah, she's I like tell you. Mm, um, yeah this is a weird I can't do it but there's, there's several emotions rapidly yes. going through her face I thought that's amazing you're amazing it's wonderful. <laughs> Well, those, those kind of moments are great. So, like, she's hiding something, but also it's a fuck you moment. Yeah. So, like, you're like, <laughs> mm, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, lest we just, like, marinate in that awkward moment, we pivot right into the emotional conversation. Yeah. So, it's, it's quick. It's just good. It's, like, smooth. Whatever. And they're pretty good at that, at the, yeah. uh, the quick jump. Yeah, because a lot of these things wouldn't play if you were just left with like a laugh track moment of some dumb thing or whatever, yeah. right? You just have to breeze right past them. Some of those things Joel says, I think people might even miss. Yeah. It's just happening in the middle of a thing or whatever. Oh, I'm sure. Well, yeah. Because like, tight. that's like the laugh a second type thing where it's like, yeah. keep getting a joke, keep getting a joke, keep getting yeah. a joke. Yeah, that's, that's the watching a demand. lot of these things a second time is actually a benefit because if you laugh at joke one, you could miss joke two. Ah, I never laugh. 
that was a, a big Simpsons issue. Face. They were like, no, the Simpsons are too funny. Stop it. Like, oh, like you're they were knocking jokes? out. Yeah, like mm. it was. It would be like a sentence, and all four were, all four lines were like, like that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. Yeah, people would miss whole like sections or whatever. Um, do you think it's foreshadowing or something? Because they're on the internet looking at locks or whatever. Uh huh. Was that a, like a one-off joke, or are the FBI gonna see their browsing history somehow and know something's up or whatever? Uh, it seemed like a weirdly placed thing. I don't think thing. that is it, but if that does come back around, the locks fish will save them. Okay, the lo- the the it's not it's it's not real Nova Scotia locks. Yeah, uh-huh. they so like that seemed like just a little like because quick... like think about FBI browsing history. What would they even care about at this point? Because inside that locked cabinet is not even something that that yes you know, I know. It just felt like a weirdly out of place scene that seemed like it was there to, to say funny names of locksmith websites yeah, or whatever. That's what it was. I know, but that seems like such a low point of like the comedy of of that episode that I was kinda like thrown by it or whatever. Mm. Woo! I'm undead and all that stuff. And explosive vom- explosive vomiting in a public restroom. Yes. Did you know before that he because usually you try to guess things, right? When he's like, This is not an outdoor cake. Did you know like he was gonna go with Gary or anything? I I wasn't sure what was I, gonna happen. I pictured him breaking in, but I didn't yeah. I didn't jump to Gary now. I pictured him getting in the middle of time. I kinda and forget the that Gary get, is down there sometimes because yes. it's not Nathan. They had to remind us because yeah. When when Abby confesses and says, "By the way, the FBI is questioning people," you know, one of, one of the things where you know where they say we can't have the FBI around here yeah, is we have a basement. talking head in the basement, and I'm like, ah, he'll you know he'll come back into play. But I thought Ron was going to be like in the closet or like in the middle of Tommy and the FBI uh-huh. and them, and continue like the Three's Company sitcom, like what are you people up to here or some weird yeah, thing. Yeah. And then and then and then when when it didn't happen, I was like. Wait a minute, what happened? And then, yeah, okay. like a shot goes through the closet door, yeah. and he's like, oh, oh, sorry, there's cake, it's very good cake, oh. Yeah. Yeah, when, when Joel was like, I didn't know what you liked, Joel. Oh, that's not the point, they don't have to get me anything, I like sweets. I yeah, like sweets, yeah. These oh, are my baby Joel. teeth. I don't trust that tooth fairy. I'm <laughs> just like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, like, no. what is it, expired candy corn? They're, or? they're, they're, they're <laughs> it was a bad joke, but her stupid, because they dub in this like, <laughs> It's like chewing noise that she's eating them, and she's like, they're like stale corn nuts. Corn they're horrible, nuts. but I can't stop eating them. So like corn nuts or something. Yeah. She's trying to explain to him. They've had this running thing this season of like, we do look at the world differently or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, are those appetizing? And she's like, no, can't stop eating them though or whatever, right? Like, I know how that goes. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I think that we all do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like, a, like we said, a lot's happened. Tommy's, like we said, off of their trail. Yeah. Or say, hey, I'm not a monster. At least I, for the moment. I, too, have a daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I'm keeping a crossbow. Right? Yeah. We got the FBI, who, for all she knows, they're just weird. She doesn't actually have a thing. Right? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. The FBI's proven to be more resourceful than they... Uh... Okay. In this show? In life. Okay. I know the real FBI can have their moments. We'll see. Well, but just figuring show. how much Anne was able to like, like pick up on and get Anne's to the like, end of... Anne's like Monk, though. Anne's like amazing. Yeah. <laughs> And painting all the clues from, like, memory, yeah. randomly. Yeah, she's an insane person, and she's gone for the moment. Will we ever see her again? She has to come Probably. back this season, right? Okay. Yeah. I'll, I, 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 I will feel very cheated <sighs> if they tabled her for now, for next season, and uh-huh. we never see her again. Nah, nah, I think you'll see her again. We need, like, a finale here or something. Yeah. I think that's pretty much everything that happens in this episode, though. Huh? You got any buttons? I like the relationship with Eric and Abby a lot. Of course. They exchange this hug. It's this awesome thing or whatever. And they seem to be on the road to a potential the relationship. <laughs> and it's like so telegraphed and stupid, but it's like still working. Usually like like the romance part is where I tune out or whatever. Uh-huh. But they even work in. There was a joke um, where she's like, we're going to laugh about this with our grandchildren. He's like, our grandchildren? grandchildren? Our respective grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. And I'm like, that's amazing. That's great. Yeah. She has, no, good, they'll, they'll get she has good delivery. Yeah, no, no. They're already married. Season finale. They're already married. It's already happening. Yeah. All right. That's all it. right, guys. That's this episode of uh, what are we Santa Clarita Diet. Santa Clarita Diet. Let us know in the comments what you thought. Let us know in the comments what you thought about. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies. <laughs>